Hello everyone, in this simple video you'll learn how to create a simple cutout text effect using CSS. So on your right hand side this is the effect that we are going to be creating. We are having our simple text, my city, and through it we can see what is in the background. So through these cutout edges, this is what you're going to be creating in this tutorial. So if you're interested, just stick around and follow along. So I'm going to save these files and we lose everything. So we're having index.html style.css and our two images here. So we are going to use one of these images, but in case you don't like the images that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, there is a simple site here called pixels.com. So just come here and search for any type of image you want, if at all they have it. And you'll be able to download it by clicking this download icon. So let me get here, let me show you an example. Let's say this. We click on this download icon, it will load. So I'll give it some time. And we are going to call it city 3 and it will be added to our project as you can see here now our markup is going to be very very simple we are just going to create an h1 and it's going to be having the text of my city and we are going to give this h1 a class of city so classes are user defined for this tutorial it's not a framework so we are defining the classes so you can call it anything you want I've called it city so long as you reference to it in our style.css then as you can see in the head section I went ahead and I linked the style.css file so this way you're going to be writing our styles this is the simple markup that we need for the HTML which meant even we can close it right now so we want to center everything in the body so we want this text to be dead center here and we are going to use flexbox to achieve this you are going to see how it's very very simple so display flex in case you're going to be having a lot of text then remember to add this flex direction and leave it or not flex wrap direction and set it to column in case you're going to be having a lot of text following this h1 then make sure you place this then we are going to say align items center then justify content center like that as you can see we have entered our text using only these four lines of flexbox so we have centered our word then let us set the background image so background dash image and this property takes in a URL function so inside this URL function it's where we specify the path of our image but here as you can see they are in the same directory so there is no writing a hard path then you, you just need to call these images by their name directly so we shall say city as you can see when vs code suggests the images i'm going to use the first one city.jpg and this is what we are having and to be on the safer side as you can see this image is repeating on large screens and to avoid that you add another property of background repeat And the value will be no repeat. So we don't want it to repeat as you can see. But right now, again, it's leaving some weird space here. And to solve that, we just say background size. So this is another property. Background size. And the value will be cover. So we want it to cover. You can see now it's covering. But it's not centered properly. And there we shall add another simple background property. So 
in the end I will show you a short hand but right now let us follow this path so background position and shall say center center I want it to be dead center as you can see it's now properly centered then let us work on our h1 remember it had a class of city we are going to start by giving it some background color a background color and we are going to use white so you can write the color name white but i'm going to be using this hexadecimal value so the background color is white then let us set its font size font size i'm going to say 140 pixels as you can see then let us change the font family and i'm going to use Arial, elvetica and sans serif and this is how it will be looking like let us add some padding then 10 pixels around it what is this oh i had highlighted the word so right now this is what we are having some little padding there then let us make these letters capital an uppercase so capital letters then text transform then we say uppercase as you can see it looks very very nice now this is where the magic comes in we are going to use a property called the mix blend mode and we are going to use a value of screen this is it so we are having this cutout effect using on ESS so this is the property and the value that you need to add on the text for us to have that effect but in case you don't want white background let's say you're having some image and you feel like the white background is a suitable color that you should be using as the background to achieve that you're going to change some properties here and also add some extra properties values and for example we want this background to be black use black as you can see it's, it's going to disappear because here in the mix blend mode we have put screen then we are going to add a simple property here color and we are going to set it to white and that's when the word is going to come back but as you can see we are not having this background color that we want so as i told you we are going to change also the value this mix blend mode to multiply and this is what we are we shall be having so that's it if you want to use a black background don't forget to use this as the background color then set the color to white and also the mix blend mode should be set to multiply and that's when you'll be able to use this let's say you don't want a completely opaque all this strong black you can change this hexadecimal values well sorry then you, we can remove these hexadecimal values and then you use this rgba function and this one will take in the red to zero green to zero blue to zero then the alpha shall say like 0.9 it will give us that a transparent background even you will be able to see this see how it's very very simple that's it if you want to use black background and let us test the other images we added remember we have three images then here we have image two let's say let's see if it will adapt whoa say image two save that 
how it will be looking like as you can see now for this the other white background will be suitable for this this one just fades in too much and let us test image 3 I think it works well with image 3 so as you can see you can go ahead and play around with this effect in your projects and see where it will be fitting or suitable then let us add some simple so the tutorial has already ended let us just make it look more cooler by adding this simple border radius so border radius then this is how I play with this border radius so I don't want the radius here at the top so I will start with a zero but in this corner the right hand corner side where you see my cursor I need 20 pixels 20 pixels then here at the bottom here on the right hand side I need zero, I don't need the uh, a border radius. Then lastly, the left hand side at the bottom, let's put another 20 pixels. And we shall have this effect. So no radius, there's a radius, no radius. So you can go on and play with these values. Create some sim simple cool shapes. So guys, I hope this tutorial was useful. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will always see you in the next tutorials. Peace.